One of the favorite questions I like asking very successful people is give me the one attribute, if you could, that will guarantee success. And I love hearing the answers to that question. What is the one thing that people can do that will ensure that they will be successful in life? And although I've asked this question to many different people, the answer has always been the same. And the answer is, you have to be a learner, a learner for life. And I think the reason is because if you're a learner, then you have to be very self-aware and you are naturally very humble. And if you're humble, then you're open to influence and you want to understand other people before they can understand you. And therefore, I think learning comes from humility and I think humility is a very core attribute, prerequisite for success. And I think um, I also find that my life's purpose is to learn to get better every single day at whatever it is that I do. What's interesting is that I think many of us understand the importance of learning. What's interesting for me is that it is never constant and you can't learn one thing that helps you in every situation. As I moved from being an individual contributor, doing things on my own, to becoming a manager where I had to lead teams, to then wanting to be a leader where I inspire teams, I realized that every single stage Whatever made me successful in that particular role would not make me successful in the next role. And whatever I had learned, I had to unlearn and then relearn to be successful in a new situation. So an individual contributor has to be very competent in his own skills and rely on that. But then he has to give that up when he manages a team. So he tells the team, and he delegates what needs to be done and then hold them accountable new set of skills and then to be a leader to be able to inspire people he requires a totally new set of skills where he can establish trust and inspire people to do things as opposed to telling them what needs to be done so at every stage what gets you here won't get you there so you learn you become good and then you need to be prepared to unlearn and then relearn what it is that you need to be successful in your new venture. I'll share an example with you. So I came to India about uh, 10 years back uh, to build the Yum India business. And uh, I went to learn at the feet of the master, uh, our, our leader who built our China business. And I said to him, please teach me everything that you know to build a successful business in India. And he said to me, well, four important rules. One." Make sure that the brand is aspirational in an emerging market. Second, make sure that the brand is relevant to a broad base of consumers early on. So don't just stand for fried chicken, but make the concept broader than that. Third, make the brand very accessible, affordable to the masses. And fourth, do all of this with a big heart and make sure that you're giving back to the community in which you operate. So flushed with that knowledge, I ran back to India and I implemented these strategies and the business went off like a rocket. As the business grew and became more and more complex, there was time for me to reflect that what had worked in the past may not necessarily keep working in the future. It was time for us as a team to unlearn and to relearn and redeploy some new strategies to take our business to the next inflection point. And as I reflect back on it, aspirational does not mean intimidating. Broadly relevant does not mean local. Accessible does not mean cheap. And big heart doesn't mean that it should not be focused. So those were some new learnings that I had to then embrace and apply and take the business onwards and upwards. I have come to realize that you have to stay open, open at all times to learn, but then always also have the humility to unlearn and then the smarts 
to relearn so that you are ready for the new challenge and the new environment in a constant dynamic way to be successful for the long term.